All right, boys, I'm headed out to the car. Let's go. As Johnny just said, wow, it's dark. 6.43 a.m. and yepper, it's dark. So we let the kids stay up a little late last night to watch Star Trek Discovery on uh, CBS. And um, I don't know, I sort of had mixed opinions of it. I mean, I don't expect the first episode of any TV show to be perfect, you know. I mean, remember Encounter at Far Point with Star Trek The Next Generation? I mean, I don't even know how it ever went on to be a show. But, um, yeah, it got much better pretty quick, but that first episode was rough. So, um, Joey really liked it. Um, yeah. what else can you say about it, Joey? Uh, I really liked that the Klingon redesign was a bit weird. It looked like mutated lizards, and I don't like how the show is behind a paywall on CBS All Access. That's just ridiculous. Yeah, Joey's out there checking on Twitter this morning, and, uh, you know, apparently everybody's a little up in arms about it. We haven't decided if we would pay for that to watch it or not. Um, certainly, I don't think we want to pay for it, like, this week, and then there's only one new episode available, right? Wouldn't we want to wait until a bunch of them are out there? You know, our culture today, we like to binge watch, where we could go watch, you know, at least four episodes at a time. So, I don't know. I like the way Netflix does it. They drop House of Cards. We watch it in a week or two. Life is good. See you later. Bye. Bye. Love you. So I'm back behind the uh, Target here at North Hills Mall in Raleigh. And uh, they have this whole area here to the side. Um fenced off and there's a trench now dug at the back of the fencing so I would say that is where the superchargers are going that must be where the big transformer goes So I'm back behind the North Hills Mall uh, Target here in Raleigh, North Carolina off Six Forks Road. And I'm checking out the supercharger that is under construction. Um, I would say down here on this end is where the big transformer is going in. You can see they've got this area fenced off. There's a trench uh, up against the tree line. And down here at the very end, there are several boxes and um, wrappers that say Tesla on them. It's actually spelled wrong as Telsa, but I think we can, uh, you know, go with uh, it being Tesla. So, as far as amenities are concerned, there certainly is shopping and bathrooms and places to eat and you know, should be a safe area to do supercharging at. Um, Traffic-wise, though, I think it's going to be a little bit of a hassle getting in and out of here, especially um, at rush hour. Uh, also, for those that are truly just passing through town on their way to the beach or on their way to the mountains, this location is uh, about uh, six or seven miles off the beaten path to uh to you know gain access off of 440 where it runs south underneath raleigh because we're kind of up here on the uh, west side northwest side of raleigh whereas uh 440 or i-40 going to the beach or going to the mountains runs on the south side of town so we're not very close for that but um hey you know our supercharger is under construction and that's a good thing Well, I spent the whole
whole morning working on video edits. First, I already started today's video. That's right, I've got some of today's video already done. And then I worked on um, the Guardian Angel promotional video some more and I completed that and uh, working on their YouTube presence and uh, that kind of stuff. So yeah, that all that stuff just takes, it's fun and I love doing it. It takes longer, always takes longer than you think it should take. So, hmm, yeah. Um, on my way to pick up the boys, we've got a 5 p.m. Taekwondo class tonight, so we don't have to rush home, but, you know, when we get home, we don't have a whole lot of time before we have to get dressed and get ready to head back to town for that class. I need to practice my form some more, so that's what I'll be doing, yeah. Yeah, I got a simple dinner of steaks grilled out in a grill tonight and, um, a veggie, so nothing complicated for dinner because there's just too much stuff going on that's right so I know there was a mistake at the end of yesterday's video and let's face it there's been a couple of little mistakes here and there you know a missing piece of text a uh, couple of seconds with no sound that kind of thing if y'all only saw me working on the videos at night I'm like falling asleep wake up work on it a little more fall asleep wake up work on it a little bit more I just been so tired um, and absolutely want to stick to one a day and getting them out there before I go to bed so I don't know um, more sleep would be a good thing but um, that seems hard to come by but anyway I'm sorry for the few mistakes I honest I do my best to make sure that they're error free but it seems like I'm always missing a little something here and there and I apologize for that hey Joey how was your day today good yeah, what'd you do at school today? Um, I learned some basic trigonometry, and overall it was just a pretty decent day. So it was mostly plugging stuff into the calculator? Yep. Yeah. I remember trig. Not too bad. Gotta memorize stuff. Formulas. So how about you, Johnny? My day was pretty good. I enjoyed my lunch with Mr. Ward. Uh-huh. You went to Mr. Ward, your science teacher's classroom today? Uh-huh. He's yeah. been letting me eat in his class at class voluntarily right so what else did you do well I did some math I wrote I wrote down some notes and got my homework do you have a lot of homework I don't believe so I hope not I really hope not <laughs> So I listen to Audible books on occasion, and um, I happened to notice that there was an X-Files book out there, which of course piqued my interest, and then I saw that it was actually read by David Duchovny and Gillian Anderson, and oh my goodness, Mitch Pileggi and all the other people are in it too from the show. The uh, Yeah, it's just wow. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. It's very interesting. Yeah, it's uh, X-Files Cold Cases, so... Um, yeah, I thought it would be something the boys and I could enjoy in the car since we're driving, you know, a good distance each day. And um, so far, so good. It's uh, pretty amazing. Home sweet home. Home sweet home. Seventh grade sure can be rough. Means a lot of homework, right, Johnny? Right. He's been at it before Taekwondo, at it again after Taekwondo. Yeah, sorry, bud. And I'm newly done, too. Maybe two more minutes of quiz because I've been practicing for 18 minutes. Mm, you were studying vocabulary for what class? ELA. Okay. Yeah, good job, bud.